What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple intro splash screen. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is create a widget. So let's go into our content browser, just right click, go into user interface and create a widget blueprint. It's going to be a normal user widget. And now we can call this one like WB underscore intro splash screen. It doesn't really matter. And let's open this up. So what we're going to do is go into the palette and just type in canvas panel and drag it to the hierarchy. So now we can start to place things in a widget. In this case, let's get an image and just drag it into our screen. And then what we're going to do is go into the anchors uh, section over here and basically use hold control and I click this expand button. As you can see, it will fill in the whole image. Now, what we're going to do now is find your logo. In this case, I'm just going to be using my YouTube logo, but you can use, of course, your logo for your studio or whatever you want. And what I'm going to do is go into the brush section of the image and now we can find it. So in this case, it will be my logo here, which I named just, I think, logo. There we go. And now we can pull this over here. Of course, this is stretched and we don't want it to be stretched. So we can uh, basically change the resolution. Uh, well, not, not our resolution, but the size to be able to fit. So what we can do is instead of basically picking up the whole screen in this case, uh, we can just pick a center point. But of course, in your case, if you are having a logo which is not just a square logo, and you're having like a panoramic logo with more things, for example, even a video, you could do it the other way around. But in this case, I'm going to be uh, using this way. So now here what we're going to do is just change the size to be the same. So let's match it. Now, let me find kind of a size that I like instead of the scale and I think that this will be good so I can just copy for example this let's put 780 and let's do 780 in that one too so it is exactly the same as yes, it's a square and then I can go and put the alignment to be 8.5.5 and then the position X in 0 and position Y in 0 and I will be perfectly in the center as you can see so now what we're going to do is animate this so I'm also going to change this to be logo and let's select this logo, go into animations and create an animation. This will be basically just, I don't know, appear and disappear. Well, we're gonna appear, disappear. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Now let's select this new animation that we have just created and we can start to animate it. And we're gonna make it very simple. So basically it will just begin with an opacity. So let's expand uh, color and opacity and it will begin with an opacity of zero. So it will not be visible and I can just go ahead and just keyframe this. Now I can just advance a bit in the time. And now when we are in, let's say one second, we can play around with the timing later and just put the alpha to be one because I want to appear. And now also click the keyframe. Now I can go a bit later on to 175 maybe, or well, even two, it doesn't really matter. And poke back the alpha to zero and add a keyframe. So now you can see it'll be very fast, but it was up here and disappear which is exactly what we want now let's quickly go and add another background image which will be purely uh, a dark image so we can just drag our image over here and do the same that i did before of control and expanding but in this case we're gonna put the tint to be totally opaque and then put it so the you know the logo will be in front as you can see right now if i played it the logo is in the other place so we have to drag it before and then we go and we can just put this to be the background and with that said i can use compile and save and now when the level starts so let me use for example open the level blueprint and open the begin play and normally you would do this on the main menu or whatever but in this case this is an example i don't have a main menu so what i have to do is just create if i know how to type correctly <laughs> create widget and in this case, it will be the um, splash screen. And then I can just get this and add it into the viewport. So it will be in the player's screen. And with that said, it should appear. So you can see, so if I press play, the widget appears. But of course, the animation doesn't play. And the reason is that I have to manually call it. So let's go back into the widget. I need to go into the graph. And then on the event construct, which is the begin play of the widget, I can just get the appear disappear animation and just call this play animation node 
and like that it will just go ahead and play it so now i can just press play the logo will appear with the transition and go but of course the widget doesn't disappear so what i can do is just go and see the timing so in this case it is around yeah exactly two seconds so i can just go here make a delay of exactly well two seconds and then get this widget and you uh, remove from parent it will be so remove from parent and that way it will be destroyed from the player screen as you can see so up here and then you go we're back into action so that's it guys if you found this so helpful i would really appreciate you like the video and subscribe to my channel i lots of unreal engine 5 toes so check them out the profiles will be available in my patreon and youtube members so check it out if you mind this good server follow me on my socials and now yes with all i said bye bye